When a reporter becomes tangled up in the story of two lovers who have lost contact, he becomes invested in finishing the story for them. The reporter is named Michael. He visits a man named Isaac to interview him for a story that he was writing about an oil company Isaac had worked for. Once Michael reaches Isaac's place, he starts to record their conversation before even asking him questions. Isaac begins answering his questions and moves around the house, showing him pictures from his time at the oil company. This is when Michael notices a picture of a woman and asks Isaac about her. He tells the reporter that the woman was Christina Eames, an old girlfriend of his. Michael then asks him if he is still in contact with the woman, to which he replies that Christina had left for New York to pursue photography. He never went after her because he was scared of feeling left behind a feeling that we are all familiar with. In New York, May Morton, the daughter of Christina Eames, receives two letters from her mother. As she opens it, she notices a note on top of the letter that tells her to read her letter first before giving the second letter to her father. Meanwhile, Michael, who had gotten done interviewing Isaac, decides to visit May and ask her about Christina. He visits her at the museum where she was working as a museum curator. Christina tells Michael that her mother had cancer and had passed away. In 1984, Louisiana, a young Christina and Isaac, are out on a boat date when she asks Isaac if he wants to move to New Orleans with her. However, Isaac at first does not agree and tells her that he does not know what he will do there. Hearing this, Christina tells him that he might want to stay with Ashley, who would be comfortable staying in Louisiana with him. Eventually, Isaac gives him and agrees to move to New Orleans with her then drives her home, where Christina's mother confronts her and warns her about hanging out with Isaac. In the present time, Michael develops an interest in May and finds the perfect excuse to see her when he finds out that there is a movie playing at the museum. He manages to convince his friend to go to the museum with him, giving him an opportunity to talk to May. As his friend distracts May's friend, he strikes up a conversation with her and asks her out, seeing as their friends had left, the two of them ended up going for dinner. Michael confesses that he is interested in May and kisses her as their date ends that night. Wait, hold on. Do you like the recap so far? Why not help us out by subscribing to the channel? It would help us keep making awesome videos for you guys. Now let's get back to the movie. Back in 1984, Christina packs up her bags and is about to leave for New Orleans when her mother sees her. She asks Christina where she is going to which she replies that she is going to New Orleans with her friends, along with Isaac. This does not sit well with her mother, and she asks Christina what plans she has for the future, before telling her that she needs to find a place of her own to live. Outside, Isaac notices Christina's mood and asks her what is wrong, but she refuses to say anything. Later that night, they arrive at a party where a drunk Isaac asks Christina to marry him, but she tells him that she is not ready to get married. Meanwhile, Michael receives a text from May the next morning and decides to visit her again, despite the hurricane warnings in New York. After he helps her put things away for the night, May invites him back to his apartment, where the two of them end up sleeping together. However, when the storm begins to get worse in the middle of the night, they are forced to go to Michael's brother's house to seek shelter. While Michael gets busy with his brother, May has a chance to sit with his nieces, who confuse her with his ex-girlfriend, who he had been dating until a few weeks ago. With this revelation, May is unable to sleep at night and decides to continue reading her mother's letter. Sometime later, Michael wakes up as well and tells May that he likes her, but he has applied for a job in London. By 1988, Christina had moved in with Isaac, but she felt like something was missing from her life. One night, Isaac comes home and Christina tells him that as much as she loves living with him, she wants to do more in her life than wait for her man to come home. This time, however, Isaac refuses to change his mind about moving to New York. So, late that night, Christina gets on a bus and travels to New York, where she applies for a job. She manages to get a job as a photographer after convincing her boss that she will not quit her job once her husband comes along. After three months of living in New York, Christina calls her friend back in Louisiana and asks her about Isaac. Instead, her friend tells her that her mother has passed away. Despite a toxic relationship with your mother, you are likely to still feel devastated over the loss of a parent. Christina then attends her mother's funeral, where her friend also reveals that Isaac had gotten married. As if her mother passing away wasn't enough, 
Isaac marrying the same girl he had assured Christina he wouldn't go for hit deep. There's no betrayal like the one you are likely to feel when a lover betrays you. As the years went by, Christina continued to work hard as a photographer and made a name for herself. During this, she also gave birth to her daughter, May. One day, Christina returns to Louisiana with May to sell her mother's house when she comes across Isaac. Unable to tell him that he is the father of her daughter, she leaves for New York once again. This is when May realizes that Isaac is her father and the second letter was meant for him. The next day, she visits Isaac and tells him about the letter and that she is his daughter. He confesses that he was too scared to ask if Mai was his daughter because he was married by the time Christina returned to Loisiana. Back in New York, Mikhail informs his boss about the new job and she reminds him that he needs to finish the story for her before he leaves. Michael agrees and once again leaves to interview Isaac one last time. Once he reaches there, he discovers that May has been staying with Isaac for the past couple of days. She fills him in on her new discovery and then visits Christina's darkroom with her. Later, they go to a bar where Mikhail tells her that he got the job. May reveals she does not want to be in a long-distance relationship because they never work out. The next few weeks, the two of them spend apart as they try to figure out their new reality. And as usual, time goes on despite the circumstances. Michael leaves for London while May displays her mother's interview tapes in the museum. One night, her father tells her that he knew May was not his daughter but chose not to say anything because he did not want to upset her. He also confesses that her mother was not a cold-hearted parent but she only had a hard time saying goodbyes. He tells her that Christina writing the letter for her could be her way of explaining why she was not the best mother. May realizes that she does not want to wait until it is too late, just like her mother had, and flies to London. She surprises Michael with Kendrick Lamar's concert tickets, an artist that they had bonded over, before kissing him and saying that she wants to try with him. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know which movie you want to see next.